angel. That voice. Maddie, is that you? Very observant, my dear angel. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Wait. Are you the one that's been leaving the notes? I... You... You're Axel. Why didn't I see it before? Oh, guilty, darling. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I dyed my hair and puberty changed my jawline quite a bit. I also started wearing colored contacts. My voice dropped low, too. But why, Maddie? Why did you change your name? Well, puberty hit and I was still obsessed with you. Matthew is my middle name, so I thought, what a better idea than to go by a different name so you didn't run off right away. Maddie, uh, Axel, I mean, did you follow me to Ezra Hills University? <gasps> Did you go for creative writing so you'd be in a class with me? Axel, you're crazy. Oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. Crazy? Crazy? I am not crazy. I love you, Angel. And you left me for that guy. We were never together, Axel. Because you wouldn't let me date you. I should have just taken you sooner. Now, how do you think Dean would feel if you took a trip? A trip back home where... You and I can be together. Forever. Now! Let go of me! I told you to come alone! I didn't trust you, Maddie. Let go! Axel. Angel. I'll be quick. I call 911. They're on their way. We have a good grip on him. We'll keep him still until they get here. Got all the evidence? Yep. Every letter, camera footage from the school, and our old high school security footage. <coughs> Axel, I'm sorry you've lost your life because of your obsession with me. But where you're going, I think everyone, including you, will be a lot safer. I just want you, Angel. I just want you to love me. And I want to feel safe. I don't love you, Axel. Never have, never will. That doesn't mean you can make me love you. Maybe in another life, if you wouldn't have been such a creep, things would have ended up differently. Leave me and my friends alone. The clock keeps ticking. It's already been a month since Axel got taken away by police. It was a shock to learn Maddie wasn't even real. But as time moved forward, I've learned to trust my instincts. If someone seems creepy, they probably are. I now have a restraining order against Axel, and he'll be sent to jail if he breaks it. He currently has been sent to a mental hospital to protect himself and others. Dean and I are moving to our new apartment in the city. My new job starts on Monday and I'm super excited. Dean and I are still going to uni classes since commuting the 30 minutes isn't bad. And most classwork is done online now. I contacted everyone who knew about Axel, including Charlie. I wonder if Joy and Charlie have talked since the breakup. our futures align, but I never really got an answer to why you think that. You deserve someone who will help provide for you. I manage a daycare center. I- You got promoted? Ah! <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Charlie! Thanks, but- Charlie, I don't need someone who is going to make a crap ton of money and quote end quote provide for me. I can take care of myself. You only are responsible for yourself. The only thing I want out of us together is your love. I love you, Charlie. All I need is you to love me back. I love you, Joy. Are you sure you're okay with me? Come on, 
How many times do I have to say I love you? I miss that. I missed you. 